Hello and welcome to Complete Games and this is my guide to the most essential recipes that you need to know in Ark Survival Evolved. I'm often asked if I'll do some more mid to late game tips and guides so today I'm covering recipes and it's often looked over by the new players but there are literally hundreds of crafted items you can make in Ark which greatly improve your survival chances. If you find this guide useful why not consider subscribing as I've been covering Ark guides on this channel for a couple of years now and I'm sure even the seasoned veterans among you will find something useful among my back catalogue of tips and tricks. Now depending on what map you're playing on especially when it comes to the core maps you will have different recipes open to you now you will find various recipes spread across all of the maps and these recipes if you follow the law of arc at all were written by sir edmund rockwell but the notes are not required to brew or craft the consumables it's the map and resources available to you at the time that restrict your crafting so we're just going to be covering the essentials that you need to be in a habit of making now crafted recipes can be done at level one the cooking pot itself can be opened by a level eight character but the downside of the cooking pot is having to add water skins which means the process of crafting in bulk is laborious but later on at level 89 the industrial cooker is unlocked the industrial cooker itself is plumbed into the water irrigation network and that of course means it cuts down the time as well as the cooking time for most of these recipes and it's considerably easier to do bulk crafting that way now the amount of times i've seen a player go into a cave or not actually have any med brews on their hot bar i've lost count of and i am guilty of it myself and the med brews are definitely something you should take the time out to make upon consuming this item the player will regen 40 points of health over five seconds it takes 30 seconds to brew in a cooking pot but 2.5 to brew in an industrial cooker you can only spam a medical brew once every five seconds but they certainly will come in handy so in order to craft a medical brew you will need 20 tinto berries and two narcotics to one water so i recommend crafting a bunch and always having some on your hot bar next on my list of essentials for crafting would be kaolin soup on consuming one of these you're going to gain an extra 50 points in hypothermal insulation and slow your rate of water consumption by 25 percent the effect lasts over 15 minutes and requires five citronol 20 tinto berries 20 ama berries 10 mejos two stimulants and one water of course and while we're on kaolin soup we're also going to cover the opposite of that freer curry just like the Cadian soup, this one increases your hypothermal insulation and it also slows your rate of food consumption by 25%. It lasts 15 minutes, but it really is useful to get rid of the freezing effect, especially if you're going to venture into places like the snow cave and could be pretty valuable because even with a full primitive set of fur armor, it can help make all the difference in staving off those cold freezing effects. So both of these options are handy to have on standby just in case you're venturing out. The fryer curry requires five long grass, five rocket root, 20 azul berries, 10 mejo berries, two narcotic and one water. Which brings me on to my last recipe that I think is essential to know and learn on Ark. That's the Rockwell Mind Wipe Tonic. Now on a lot of servers the Mind Wipe is restricted to once every 24 hours. But if you're planning to do some crafting then this recipe is essential i myself if i'm doing a mind wipe will quite often put a shout out in the global chat on my server if anyone wants me to craft something while i'm doing it but to use an example down below i craft half a dozen crossbows but stack all 100 attribute points i have into crafting skill the results will always vary due to rng but out of the half a dozen I crafted, I managed to stack 37.2% crafting skill bonus onto my best one. This increased the weapon's damage by a good 60%, so apply this same strategy to a potential boss fight in saddle or your favourite shotgun blueprint and it's definitely worth it. So if you're feeling in the mood to jump in with the comments down below, don't forget to write down your favourite recipes if I've missed anything. There are many to choose from. And if you're still new to learning the ropes in Ark, then take an hour out to do some crafting. The benefits of preparing really do add up in the long run. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.